And as Jack packed up his things, he knew one thing for sure. He sure enjoyed getting his bread up. Hey, how's it going everybody? Jack the Dab Lad here. It's time for Dabcraft 10. We're on episode 10 now, which means we're almost 50 days into this world. I'm not tripping today. <laughs> Just getting that, getting that out there right away. If you watched last episode, I ate one of those mushroom gummies and that shit was intense, man. Holy crap. Need a little bit of a breather before I do that again. Oh dear. Oh, that was weird. Took a second for the lights to come on. Part of me wants to only have the shaders on while I'm tripping so that like we can visually see that I'm in an altered mind state. But then we don't get to have shaders all the time, so I'm probably just gonna leave them, leave them on. So yeah, let's see where we're at. Oh my gosh, we're definitely gonna finish my challenge today. We're gonna finish getting our bread up. Let's go. Let's just farm some wheat till dab time. Oh, and another fun thing today. I'm gonna try to only do every dab that I do for today's session will be on a terp slurper with a torch. So it's gonna take a while <laughs> compared to my normal e-rig dabs but yeah I've got lots of fun concentrates to to try and check out with you you guys today so I'm super excited we're gonna get be getting real terpy with it today I uh, I got a strain that I've always wanted to try and it's in live resin too which is a great way to experience a strain fuck that one was almost done got some Jack Herrera y'all Jack Herrer, Jack Herrer. I'm not sure what the intonation is, but super classic sativa strain. And as a fellow Jack, I've always wanted to try some Jack Terps. So I, I started my day with a, a nice dab of it this morning to try it out. It was very tasty, very piney. I can't believe I'm actually gonna finish this challenge. That's dope. I can't believe it, but I'm so, so glad we're about to be done with it. Finally, have gotten my bread up. Does anybody have any other any strains? All right, this could be a good question for for anyone watching on YouTube as well. What's a strain that you've heard of years and years and always wanted to try? Another one for me that I don't think I've ever had, definitely not in concentrate, is like Northern Lights. Imagine some like Northern Lights live resin or rosin. That'd be sick. Still got a little bit up here. We'll, we'll wait on that one. Oh, it's night time. <laughs> Shit, dab time. <laughs> it came so fast, holy shit. I forgot that uh, we were a little ways into the day already. Speaking of which, it is day 45, by the way, like we said earlier. <laughs> I literally just did a dab. I'm going to be so motherfucking high this episode, holy shit. All right, in the OG dab spot. Who's dabbing with me? Uh, dab number one here. Let's do some Grape Skittles Live Batter from Nomad. I was really excited when I saw this strain, and very excited when I got my first taste of it too. This will be my second dab of it. Let's not use the pillar on this one, but I will pull it out and get it drying off for our next dab. I'm gonna grab a turp pearl though. Give it a little extra oomph. I'm gonna type motion point sesh in my chat and see who's dabbing with me. If anyone's lurking. Let's torch it up, y'all. I really need to change my ISO dunk ISO today. Feels like I just did it not that long ago, though. Going through so much ISO. It's a freaking butane time. Oh, I gotta get some freaking Minecraft music going, too. Here we are. So much to do. So many tasks. I'm a slurper fiend these days. I really love Terp Slurper bangers. I me and my girlfriend have been going crazy on the slurper dabs. I have two really nice slurpers that I love using these days. We're nice and hot, so we can take our take a nice opportunity to get a good scoop of this grape skittles from Nomad here. Very nice chunk. Ready, y'all? It's the melt shot. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> The way the oil travels up the banger is so fucking cool, man. I needed to go in a little hotter, a little harder. There, that's okay. We we reheat it. Gotta remember how to fucking position my hands to do this. Cheers, everybody, on the reheat. Here we go. Heat the top, then the bottom for a bit. 
Get it moving. Beers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> that was so fucking tasty. Holy shit. My time is almost over. It looks like day in the game, though, but according to my clock, nighttime has not yet ended. Dude, slurper dabs. Take a hot minute. That's one down. Four to go. Oh, holy fuck. Dude, I literally might just be dabbing and farming this episode, guys. I apologize if that's boring to anyone, but I got, I, I wanna, I got, I gotta wanna, I wanna, gotta finish this challenge. Do I even replant my crops at this point? Should I replant them if I'm never gonna harvest them again? Probably. Jesus. Bat's taking a swim. Blinker from a friend's pen. Nice. You know what kind of pen it was? Shout out to the friend with the pen. You can always count on them when you need to get high. I also am very high, if you can't tell. That grape skittles is so yummy, dude. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm a better farmer when I'm high. Don't you guys agree? You see how fucking fast I'm going compared to before? You guys think that's true with farmers in real life? You guys think farmers use cannabis? I feel like farmers are probably mostly 420 friendly. Strawberry milkshake. So here's the question. Did it taste like like a e-cig, like a vape, where it was like super yummy, flavorful, just like strawberry milkshake? Or was it like the weed version of strawberry milkshake? Because basically that's the difference between botanical terpenes or cannabis derived terpenes. One thing super interesting though that I've learned is I, I, I need to try to find some data to back this up or a study or something so that I'm not just going off this dude's word because it was a rep for a company but he told me that botanical terpenes of similar just because they're botanical doesn't mean they don't have neurological effects or like some of the same effects that we get from the terpenes that are come from cannabis which i thought was pretty fucking cool so like even though you might have a a cart that's distillate flavored with botanical terpenes those t botanical terpenes are still doing a doing a little bit of something a really good analogy that I've heard recently. Damn, this shit should be like fully grown down here. I feel like I haven't been down here in ages. I'm sad that this isn't an axe growth down here. I'm looking for that max growth area. I'm saying I don't know if I want to waste my time in this shit. Sorry, I want to make sure I'm keeping it on my YouTube chat as well. Shout out to Thomas who was hanging out on YouTube earlier. I don't often have people hanging out on YouTube when I dream, so I want to make sure I hype anybody up who does say hi to me on YouTube while I'm live, I really fucking appreciate that. Most of the crew's always hanging out on Twitch, of course, so. What I often do is I often see people that I like, or like streamers that I like to hang out with live on YouTube, and then I'll go to their, the other platform that they're streaming on, where there's usually more action. But like, I'll basically see them live through YouTube, thanks to their YouTube, so I always feel like it's worth going live on YouTube even if you're you don't get many people watching on YouTube it's probably pushing a lot of traffic to your live stream if you've got any sort of community or subscriber base on there Dude, I'm stone stoned I'm almost done with my fucking challenge I've got two more stacks of bread I don't think I only need one more stack after this so three more stacks of wheat sorry dude part of me wants to turn the shaders off because I really do like the vanilla Minecraft look, and part of me feels like my target de demographic, which is like older craft audience, wherever that starts, ideally at like 21, obviously, or I'm like, does that demographic like shaders and no shaders? I'm not sure. I think I'm about there. We're really close. Fuck. Alright, let's see. Did we do it? One, two, three. One. Two, three, I'm really close to being done. We need one stack. We're gonna do it, guys. It's night time. Wait, look, it still says we have half of the... Is this when night starts? I think I might have been reading my clock wrong in the past episodes. Cause like, this feels like night is starting right now, right? But it, I thought it wasn't, night didn't start until 
all the blue was gone. I think I've been reading my clock wrong this whole time, guys. That's alright, I've only had a clock for like two seshes. One seven. Yeah, I think two seshes. Cause yeah, this seems <laughs> this seems like we're we're in this feels more night than day. I guess that means it's dab time. We'll get one stack and then two more stacks of wheat. This shit is fucking fire. Dude, I just got a a big sample bag from work yesterday. So I got a bunch of new dabs to try and all just all sorts of product. Edibles, so much fun shit, man. It was awesome. I'll do a dab of one of the products that I got in said sample bag now. We got a half gram of peach pie from Mighty Melts. Dude, fuck man, this banger's a little sticky coming out of my ISO bath. I really need to change that today. That's fucking, it's gotten real dirty recently. All right, my Minecraft music is gone, so we're injecting our own. It's a little loud right now. Let's do a, do I wanna do a pillar dab? Probably. Let's load up this pillar with some Mighty Melts. In queue for some Counter-Strike, very nice. You've seen my dab camera, right? So yeah, this is the Peach Oz Great Pie Wedding Crash here. Peach Pie from Mighty Mail. Dang, this doesn't want to go in the pillar. Get in there, bro. Right, I shoved it in with my finger. We got some human terps in there. Oh, no. And this stuff doesn't want to stay put. All right, we'll just leave it in there like that. Watch some of the streams, though. Well, dude, I appreciate you saying hi. I love the YouTube drama with speedruns. Hell yeah. I tried to start my own speedrun kind of category. The get your bread up challenge in Minecraft. Pay no attention to my janky torch setup. It's to this banger, 20 bucks online. And it's cool and engraved. And it works pretty well. Perfect for a wannabe heady boy like me. Am I fucking up my co- If I am torching it when there- If there's like a tiny amount of- I guess what- Am I fucking up my quartz if my ISO is getting really dirty? Because it's- the banger's coming out the slightest bit dicky at this point. I know what you're talking about, totally. All that drama. I feel like that's a couple years old, right? Alright. I really need to do this dab. Hopefully, we're nice and hot and ready. Oh, damn it. I got it real hot. 700. Plenty hot. This dab is not crazy large either, so I don't need to go in too hot here. But it is go time. Let me see if I can get a good melt shot here. Uh, it's too bright. My camera's not properly set up for that. Good luck in your game, man. So much fucking oil on the lid, dude. That was yummy. That peach pie is pretty fire. Not one of my favorites, but definitely delicious. It is daytime in Minecraft. We're already at day 47. <laughs> I just need two stacks of bread and then I'm done, my, done with my challenge. Challenge. It's raining. This is a good finish the challenge song. We just got one more stack. We just need 50 something bread or wheat. And I'm, I've done it. I've fucking done it. Damn, it took me, I did it in under 50 days. How to get your bread up in under 50 days could be the title of my new series. Title of this series, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> All right, do I have it here? I just might, I've done it. Let's go. I got my bread up. The chest is about to be filled. Oh, I'm one short. Goof. And I'll eat some to celebrate. Boom! I've done it! I gotta do a dab with this up on the in the background. Ooh, we finally fucking did it. It only took 47 Minecraft days. 48 dabs. Or no, 47 dabs. Whew! I need to blow my nose, excuse me, for a moment. Oh, I need to uh, dunk my banger. I almost forgot. Holy fuck! Jesus. Enderman suddenly teleports. Let's get the fuck out of me. I'm gonna get a pearl out to prepare for the next dab as well, since it's probably gonna be... No, I'll just grab the pillar now as well. Whew. <laughs> I need to make a s fish sanctuary soon. Other than that, I'm not sure what I want to do right now. In the game. I can make a bow for safety. That's probably smart. I have two string. Damn it. I'm one string short. Oh, there he is. There's the ender guy. I could cook a bunch more clay to make more bricks to get to level 30 so I can use diamonds. That could be cool. I think I'm gonna go get a bunch of coal. I'm so glad that I'm fucking done gardening. Whew. 
I never want to look at another weed again. Holy fuck, that scared me. I was like, what in the fuck is that? What a cutie. There's another one. Looking for some coal. That's okay. I just mine a bunch of coal and then cook up a bunch of stuff. I could level up for show. What the fuck? Some lapis. Bro, these caves are crazy. What the fuck is down there? What the fuck is that? Are those Endermen? What am I looking at? I have no fucking clue. It's a torch. The heck's scary. This place is kind of crazy. I'm kind of worried about getting lost right now, not gonna lie. It's just way more disorienting with these shaders on for sure. Gotta pull up my YouTube chat. Nighttime is gonna start here somewhat shortly. Bro. What the f Is that a spider? Holy fuck, that looks crazy. It is crazy. Neato. That's so spooky. Don't. F oh my fuck. Oh, it is an Enderman for sure. Dude, what the fuck? So sketch. That don't look safe. That's where the mine. That takes me to the mine shaft. Right, nighttime is about to start. It's already almost dab time again. All I'm fucking doing this episode, this sesh is torching and dabbing. Oh god, is that that's water. Digging. It's not even a text. I don't even have a texture pack on actually. It's just the shaders. Pretty much the same thing. I know you mean same thing, but wanted. There's. A, I know there's some like minimalistic texture pack that's some. Oh, it's so pretty in here. Dude, we're definitely going to make this my room. This is actually going to be my new house. It's so cool in here with the texture pack. I want to do vines all over the place. Or glowberries all over the place. Cool. Your footsteps make music in here. I forgot about that. It's pretty freaking cool. Damn, this music is gorgeous. just want all the glowberries now. I think I'm going to make this my house. Let's do a dab. I got to do it. You dabbing with me, Clyde? Oh, you can climb glowberry vines? Sick. Very cool. I think I want to do, I don't know. For this dab. I'm gonna smoke some of that Jack Carrera that I talked about. I'm gonna do an empty pillar that I heat up. Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, we're at a good temp. Check this out, guys. Really stoked for this one. This is from Seed and Smith again. Seed and Smith, this is the Jack Rare Live Resin. The Jack Terps. Here we go. Cheers. I definitely think I belong in, in Champ though, but I. It's been hard getting back up there in threes. Not good enough to carry, really. That's Dab. Slurper Dab number three, guys. We're doing it. Fucking doing it. What's up, Latin? Laddie Latin wants to fight. Do you accept? Oh, dude, I just finished doing a dab. I'm sorry. Might have to hit this one without me unless you want to wait 10 minutes. Because that's when nighttime starts next here on Dab Car I just did a dab of Jack Herrera Live Resin. Fucking tasty. Let's go get all the glow berries. So, yeah, I'm going to turn this into my home. We're going to pimp it out. I don't really care about leveling up or getting coal anymore. I'm just gonna let for all the shit that I care about over here from upstairs. So nice, I don't have to use shears on that. I can't re couldn't remember. Is this a scary drop? We got axolotls everywhere. No, that's not super bad. This ain't fucking Shia LaBeouf. Just kidding. I know it's not Shia. Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill are in the cast of Super Bad. The stars, the co stars. When was the last time you watched Super Bad? I watched it somewhat recently, not. I would say in the past year or two, I think. Great film. Shit's getting crazy. Should I put a door or should I just have a glowberry entrance? I think I might keep it somewhat na natural. I got it. Ow! <laughs> one there. I think I want one, two, three in the center of every corner to mirror that. So like one, two, three, like that. And then we'll do like that as well. So that'll like cover this area. Figure out what I'm doing back here eventually. Maybe I have the staircase over here and then this takes you. Adios is the strain. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> so here, so 
I can farm the amethyst shards from the blocks and you, where they grow in here and uh, from the sh you can turn the shards into full blocks so I can I can I'm just gonna build my whole base out of these crystals so I'm gonna extend this in here probably close this in and then make like crystal staircase and shit or maybe I should make like glass steps I wonder what all I can make out of amethyst I need a crafting table in here which I don't have so I guess we'll just yoink this one for now I feel like I have an extra one not too far away because I'd like to still have one right there too but I guess that little temporary station isn't as necessary now dude is my clock right I thought it was already this time for a while probably just play casual so is there anything is there nothing else I can do with the freaking shards other than just turn them into blocks it's kind of lame Fuck. Right on. Cool. So we filled it in a little bit. I'd like to try to make it a little more symmetrical, I think, if I can. Okay, I really like the way this corner goes, like that. What the fuck was that? Trade art mirrored perfectly. I really like that. <laughs> Trying to fucking. What am I doing wrong here? There we go. Oh, it's dab time, everybody. <laughs> There's something walking around out there. This fucking spider I just heard. I don't have no wood. Dang it. Alright. Get some dab tunes going. Some dab craft tunage. Already almost halfway through night. I need to move kind of quick here. What am I doing a dab of here? What am I doing? Uh, what did I do with that turf pearl? There it is. Dude, let's do a big fucking shatter dab melt shot here, y'all. This will be fun. Let's torch it up. Banger's starting to look a little cloudy coming out of the ISO dunk. I'm hoping it's just because of the dirty ISO and it's not the nail actually getting devitrified or whatever it's called. We'll see though. Still kind of learning the way of the torch and the banger to be honest. At least when it comes to keeping things pristine and nice. Because that's a whole different ball game from just being able to do nice dabs. There's levels to dab dabbing. I've always wanted to make that video of what different levels you go through. Music going ham all of a sudden. The song's banging. I don't know if that's hot enough. We're gonna do a big shatter dab here. So we're gonna need a good amount of heat. I'm gonna torch it up just a little more. I'm not even gonna temp it this time. I'm just gonna go in. Sorry, I was kinda torching off camera there, my be. Alright, we gonna go in hot here. Put the cap on. Cap on. And I got racks wrong. Doobie doob. So check it out, here's the tech. How you hot knife melt shot. Get the, your dab camera tool hot, then stick it into the shatter. And now we go, cheers. Probably not gonna be reheating that one. I don't care if I waste a little shatter. Shit. Manual breathing right now. Oh boy, dump the pearl and then the bang. <coughs> Grabbing the pillar out to get it ready for, for the last dab of the sesh. Oh boy, <coughs> that was slipper dab number four. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm so high. I need wood. Maybe I should grow a couple of trees down here. Ooh, a string. All right, let's go get some some wood. All right, we're, we're officially moving. That's how we're gonna end this episode, is packing up our shit and moving into the cave. I do wanna go off adventuring though. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with this brick. Actually, I think I'm gonna make a brick room. Addition from amethyst to brick at some point. That could be chill. Very somber music as we gather all of our things here. I like how I have one chest full. And as Jack packed up his things, he knew one thing for sure. He sure enjoyed getting his bread up. What's how this music makes me feel right now? He sure knew. He'd learned so many lessons. Wow. I don't know if I need those emeralds. I think this is all the important shit that I own. I just need to bring 
more wood with me or some saplings, I think. Some melons for food. I'll probably continue eating bread. I don't need melons. Swap those. All right. I think that's all. I think that's everything, y'all. Here we go. We're doing it. It's like a, I'm acting like I'm doing some huge adventure. I'm moving like a 30 second walk away. All right, we're here, everybody. Kind of a bummer to be using that wood on a chest because we lose its authenticity, but that's okay. Ow. I'm gonna save those. Let's plant these saplings to try to get some trees growing down here so that I can have other trees. It'd be cool to have trees that tend like the trees grow on this. Let me find some dirt, I guess. There's some dirt. I have 12 saplings, so let's get 12 things of dirt. 12 dirts. I do have a shovel. Apologies. Oh, we got exactly what we need. So my thought is, do that. My goal is to get these to grow into some unique trees, some tall ones, that would be really cool. Because again, this is my own biome to some extent, and maybe it'll make the trees look kind of cool or something, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows what I'll do? Maybe I'll do something crazy. I bet whatever it is, it'll be sick though. <laughs> I kind of want to level this little bridge hump here. Almost time for our final dab. Should I try to grow a tree in, in here? That could be kind of cool. That would be actually pretty cool. Let's see if we can. Just for the fuck of it. So, I'm gonna level this out a little bit. So this is gonna be my front lawn slash patio area, so we're, we want it to look somewhat nice. It's back here. Do I go down one more layer? No, I don't think so. I think this is nice. Oh shit, it's night time. <laughs> oh shit. Can you figure out how glowberries work if they just like constantly grow as they glow? As they glow? That doesn't make sense. I want to figure out how they grow. Their growing mechanics. The mechanics of their growth. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making like a little pathway here. And I don't know why. I need to do it in my new house. I'm going to figure out something cool to do with those. I'll probably do a little pattern with them. So I want a bunch of them. Boop, scoop. Do -do. Pretty cool room. Pretty cool house. For a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I'm like my own stepdad, but like a good one. Dude, Sesh has been very notorious just for my music overlapping and then there being none at all. It's tough out here. For my last dab, what will I dab for this last dab? I think I want to do a pillar dab. Dank milk or dulce de uva? Is there anyone hanging out with me live that wants to pick between those two delicious live rosins? Smelling them both, see which one my nose likes more now. right now. They're both kind of similar. Damn, the dank milk is almost like caramel. Porque no los dos, y'all. I'm gonna put some of both on both sides. Let's see if we can do this with this scope. So dank milk. The 90 to 120 U from Oleo. Let's throw this in one end. Oh no, I got a hair on there. Oh, this is one of those Minecraft songs that gets crazy. And then this is the Dulce de Uva from Single Source. Super pretty. Super yummy. Throw this on the other side of the pillar. Two strains in one pillar. Gonna be a killer dab. It's stinky over here because of these rosins, man. They're so smelly. I'm so lucky to get to smoke this stuff, man. Cheers on the torching. Tor tor torches up. Is that what you say? Torch time. No, you say torch time. Torch time. We're King DKC. Shout out King DKC. Dabbing melt shot legend. I'm not going to worry about checking the temp here. I'm just going to go in everybody cheers let's see if i can i'm gonna try to do well no last time it was overexposed again book it we're just gonna go for it always trying to do the most man cheers whoa this is fucking tasty holy shit day 49 just ended day 50 just started that was one of the tastiest dabs i've had in a long time holy shit Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dabcraft. Uh, I hope someone dabbed along with me on this episode. Leave me a comment if you did, because all I really did was get high this episode, and I'm so stoned. The Slurper episode was a success. I'm glad I kept up with it. 
but yeah, I'm insanely stoned. Because it, it's no fun to do small dabs on the Slurper. Definitely doing some chunky ones. So tune in next Friday for more dab craft. But in the meantime, check out some of my other videos right here. I'm going to force, forcibly hold myself accountable by talking about it in the video. I click here to watch my video about why Terp Slurpers are my favorite bangers right now or this other video that I'm also going to make. I'm going to try to force myself to make two videos because I've been meaning to also make a video about my really sick $20 slurper, which is the engraved one that you guys have seen me I've been ripping all this episode. So not this cool Fueled by Amids one. This one is also awesome. But uh, the other one I was using tonight, I'm going to make a video about it here because it's just a budget banger right there. Peace.